Hello, everybody. My name is Graham Owen, and you are watching The Political Vigilante. I just saw this story, so I didn't have time to put it into a uh, into the segments with the slides and everything, so we're just going to go right to the article on CNN. I saw Abby Martin post this. Uh, while we're sitting there talking in America about, oh, no, uh, you, look what the Ukraine, look what Russia's, Putin is trying to invade the Ukraine, and he's trying to destabilize the region, and blah, 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 blah. What's America doing? Oh, we're still bombing. Here's what we're doing, guys. We're still bombing Yemen. Airstrikes kill 70 people and knock out the internet in Yemen. <laughs> the United States just killed 70 people. Or helped contribute. At least 70 people were killed when more than 100 injured when an airstrike hit a detention center in Yemen. Doctors Without Borders said, we love bombing Doctors Without Borders, a non-for-profit organization that goes into poor third world and war-torn countries and helps people. It's just literally Doctors Without Borders that just want to help. There's just doctors that want to help people. And we bomb them in addition to poor people of color that don't deserve any of this. Uh, the Saudi-led coalition continued to ramp up its deadly offensive on the rebels in the war-torn nation. Gee, where does Saudi Arabia get its weapons from? Where do they buy from? Oh, that's right, the United States. The United States. And this is the thing that drives me nuts about crybaby dumb liberals. They scream and moan when Trump sold the Saudis $100 billion in weapons. They're like, Trump's a warmonger. And they didn't care, didn't want to hear it, didn't know, didn't want to know that, gee, who sold $113 billion in weapons to the Saudis? Oh, Obama did. And gee, who is his vice president? I forget. Just the way Joe Biden forgets. Um, it's unbelievable to me. Another airstrike early Friday hit a telecommunications building in the strategic port city of Hudala. I'm sorry, I, I mispronounced that. Hudida, uh, causing a nationwide internet blackout, according to... Imagine if we were getting bombed all the time. America has no idea what being bombed. We have no idea. We have yet... We have never been bombed. We had 9-11, which was awful. We've had some terrorist explosions. We've had domestic terrorism like Oklahoma City. That's bad. We've never been bombed. Just out of the sky, it breeds terror. The worst humanitarian crisis the world has ever known is happening right now in Yemen. And it's been going on since Obama was in office. Um. The Norwegian Refugee Council said the internet blackout, which was still ongoing as of Friday, would affect a delivery. The Iran back. This is this is where CNN is such. This is their bullshit. The Iran backed Houthi rebels, which control much of Yemen. So again, even in the article, even in the article, it's like the Iran. Iran. It's this is Iran's fault. No, this is the United States' fault. This is the United States fault. Um, blame the Saudi led coalition for the strikes. CNN has reached out to the coalition for comment. Uh huh. A coalition led by Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates backed by the United States who supplies the weaponry. <laughs> like, Oh, we're just, it's just, Oh, it's just some crazy skirmish in the middle East. Oh boy. What's this one about? We're creating it. The Saudis give us oil. They buy our weapons. Isn't that fun? Um, launched an offensive in 2015 when Obama was in office to restore Yemen's internationally recognized government after it was ousted by the Houthis. The coalition has intensified its attacks. Oh, God, I can't even read this crap. Um, the Houthi-run media outlet. See, even just those words, just, well, it's a little suspect. Showed graphic video of people under rubble in the aftermath of Friday's detention center strike. The Red Cross said it sent emergency medical applies to two hospitals and that it received a very high number of casualties. From what I hear in my colleague and Sada Saada, there are many bodies still at the scene of the airstrike, many missing people. Oh, God. The Saudi-led coalition did not comment on the airstrikes on the telecommunication building in the detention center, but said Friday that it had hit a hit the port, taking down one of the Houthis. 
The ICRC, which is the International Red Cross, is deeply concerned about the intensification of hostels over recent days, including attacks on other cities across Yemen and Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates, and deplores the human toll this escalation has caused. So, I mean, this is, uh, and I just want to make this very clear, the democratically controlled Congress voted to give Biden a $768 billion war budget, including 51 members of the Pro progressive caucus. So let's sit there and say, well, Demo the vote any blue will do voters, the, Demo the di diehard Democratic voters, when, when the Re Republicans do war, that's when you become a pacifist. That's when you're like, peace, peace, peace. When the Democrats do war, you're like, ah, oh, you can't be bothered. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's not a perfect system. Oh, yeah, I mean, Obama was a disappointment. So there are these excuses made. The Democrats in Congress, the, at least the Progressive Caucus should have said, no, we're not supporting this war budget. But they did. The Democrats voted for it. It goes to the Senate, which is also controlled by the Democrats. And gee, Joe Manchin and Christine Siena, they don't have a problem not only approving the $768 billion war budget, but then the Senate gave an extra $10 billion. So that's your Democratic Party giving Joe Biden who's president. Some people criticism like, Graham, how come you're not more critical of Trump? He's not the president anymore. Joe Biden is. And Joe Biden ran on this, I'm better than Trump thing. And how is he? How is he better? Trump didn't end the war in Yemen, which was started by Obama. So that's, that's your two party. There's always got money for war. So once again, we're coming up on this, we're, 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 Coming up on like the, the two year mark of being in a global pandemic, over 800,000 Americans are dead. We do not have free health care in the middle of a once in a hundred year pandemic. We can't seem to figure that out, but we got money to bomb Yemen. We got money to sell weapons. We can always, the defense contractors are loving all these wars. I mean, Joe Biden pulled out of Afghanistan, which I'm glad he did. You could argue he didn't do it right, whatever. We were there for 20 years. We still, we're still bombing Yemen. Saudi-led coalition. And where, where even CNN can't seem to figure out where America is in all that mix-up. And the war in Yemen. This is what happens when you, I didn't vote for Joe Biden and I didn't vote for Donald Trump. They're two rapist pieces of warmongering shit. Got it? Is that clear? <laughs> so... We can't even do student debt forgiveness. $1.5 trillion would, would cancel everybody's student debt. That's the cost the United States spent on developing the F-35 bomber, which doesn't even work right. And just, we wasted a lot of money. It was a money pit. You could have free healthcare. You could have free college. You could have student debt forgiveness, which would, which would really help Americans financially. The Supreme court just uh, ended last, last year. The, uh, the, the moratorium on evictions, that's over. So if you couldn't pay your rent during the pandemic because you were told you couldn't work, doesn't too bad. Too bad. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> oh, Graham, that's the reason why I'm against mandates or whatever. Well, if they're going to mandate and shut stuff down, they should have given us money to pay all our bills like they did in other countries. It's just horrible always have money for war. We always have money to sell weapons and to bomb people always have money for war. So we just killed a bunch of innocent people in Yemen. Again, we're killing people every day by starving them. And we let the Saudis do whatever they want. They chopped up a journalist two years ago. We, we were okay with that. We didn't, we, we got all mad on TV. We didn't hold them accountable. We let us, the Saudis do whatever they want because they give us their oil. Follow the money, connect the dots, get the truth. Every time there's a war on social media, to your friends, in your circle, wherever you live, always ask, how can we, how, when, 
how come, how are we going to pay for this war? How are we going to pay for it? When everyone asks, how are we going to pay for Medicare for all? How are we going to pay for all these wars? The same way we pay for all these wars. The wars just, the, the war machine gets whatever it wants, whenever it wants. Why can't the health machine get that? America is a broken, collapsing empire that needs to go down because it's awful. And we, we, we are ruining, we are, we are the terrorists. We are the terrorists. Yes, we are. We're not the good guys. We're not the good guys. We're the terrorists. We've starved. We've let children starve to death. We, we claim we care about children. We let children get starved to death in Yemen. And we let the Saudis do whatever they want. Shave your knuckles for justice. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. We are still in our like ninth month of demonetization from YouTube. So support what we're doing at patreon.com slash Graham Elwood or rockfin.com slash Graham Elwood, which is a blockchain cryptocurrency platform. It's free to sign up and there's a premium level at $10 a month. And for that, you get everybody on the platform's premium content. Myself, Lee Camp, Ron Placone, Jimmy Dore, Whitney Webb, Kim Iverson, Abby Martin, and many, many others. You can also support what we're doing at Venmo at Graham Elwood and go to GrahamElwood.com. We have a PayPal button and a PO box. I also have crypto wallets, which are all in the show notes. Thanks for supporting what we do.